survived the night. I'm in my tent. I'm tired. I thought this camp had a water source. It doesn't. So I have to go six miles with this nasty water. Nasty filtered water. And this. Eh, this is what it is, but kind of sucks. But, uh, oh, I got this. Hold on. That's a good one right there. Oi. Oi. Never had blisters on any hike I've ever been on. So that's the first. But whatever. Yeah. Shit happens. So it's day three. My Batona Trail Nobo through hike. I'm just making sure I got everything from camp. I don't want to be one of them people. The fire is properly out. And, um, so the plan today is hopefully 15 miles. My feet hurt. I got blisters the size of walnuts on my heels. But, um, whenever I look in the camera like that, that's making sure I have nothing on me. I just figured kill two birds with one stone, film and check out my beautiful face at the same time. I have water, but I googled it and it said don't filter the river water down here. I'm like, but Sawyer swears by that shit, but I don't think I'm going to take a chance, so I have like half a cup of water and I'm going to just hike up to um, Batona Camp where they hopefully have Hopefully their water source is working. So 1.3 mile hike back to the Batona and then five miles up the Batona to Batona Camp. Where I'm gonna drink my fill of water and eat food. Oh, that's nice. That's a good way to get someone like killed. I thought I heard a car park last night, but I was kind of out. It was a long day. Something was sniffing around my tent. Um, I don't know what it was. I really don't want to know. But when I'm camping, I always sleep with my knife in my hand anyway. It's better, uh, better safe than sorry. As I tell you what, if a bear comes poking his nose through my tent door, he's getting stabbed in the face. Regardless of how innocent the Winnie the Pooh might be. But, yeah, my feet are killing me. And everything. I think it's just so hungry I didn't eat last night and I don't have enough water to cook. So I ate some granola or trail mix rather. But I don't want to get too thirsty, so yeah. If push comes to shove, I'll filter some crick water, but man, I'd rather not. But anyway, that's the plan. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. And, um, yeah, that's that. I maybe have one more charge in my external battery pack, so I'm not going to film way too much today or be on social media much today because I really like, you know, because as soon as my battery dies, that'll be something I miss, you know. But anyway, we're just going to hike it through. And, uh, yeah, it's 25. North. Just saw the first person I've seen in three days on the trail. And I think I scared him because I was like, holy shit, you're the first person I've seen in three days. That's on trail, anyway. And uh, yeah, it was cool. It was nice, nice to like see somebody. Um, Freaking, uh, what a weird thing. I think we should just get tanker loads of DEET and just drop it in the wilderness. 
think that'd be a good idea. No. What a weird hobby. We just douse ourselves in chemicals and go walk through the woods. Our humans are probably no longer supposed to be. I don't know. I kind of enjoy it. I'm getting to the point now where I just want to finish this thing. I know I'm thirsty and I got like four and a half miles before I can get more water. So that's that. But hey, I've been through harder things in my life. This is the trail today. I fucking hit the pool. Oh, you motherfucker. Horse fuck. Bit me right through my shirt, that prick. Yeah, I fucking hate when the trail's like that. It just feels so gross. If I could walk like this and then, like, at the end of the day, go take a shower, and that'd be one thing, but fucking bushwhacking. <laughs> I guess it's not necessarily technically bushwhacking, but. See, I live in a really bougie area where the rich people pay a lot of money to maintain the park that they live by. So I'm fortunate to have clean, wide open trails. Thankfully, that doesn't seem like the ticks stick to the blueberries too much, though. Yeah, it's really just the grass. See, I'm learning here. Look at them calves. The bowls. But uh, yeah, I just want to show you what I was dealing with today. 25.5. See my second hiker and the one mile apart from each other. So that means either they're together or I'm getting closer to civilization, which is nice. It's comforting. I'll tell you what I'm doing with this trail. First thing I'm doing is going to the old driftwood. I'm drinking a nice cold fucking beer. Yeah. First thing I do when I get off this trail, well, besides call the doctor for that tick medicine, is I am motherfucking having the coldest Budweiser I can find. I know that's bad considering like my whole vlog is like not drinking and stuff, but I've accepted to moderation. Can't drink every day. Just every other day. No, I'm kidding. Just once in a while. I don't know. Thoughts. 26, six miles to water, or four miles to water. Half motherfucking way. Mile 27. 27.5. 28. 29. Mile 30. 30.5, I really need water. Okay, I've gone like seven miles without any water. And I got 0.3 to go. Feel myself getting faint. This camp says there's potable water. I'm gonna drink till I fucking puke. Just drink, drink, drink until water's coming out of every orifice of my body. Oh, train tracks, and they're abandoned. 31 miles. I'm so weak. I can barely do this right now. Oh, oh yes. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Sorry for the angles. I don't even care right now. Not getting water from that river this morning. It was probably one of the stupidest mistakes I've ever made in my life. And seven miles without any water. God, I feel like I just got out of the desert. Wow, I have never tasted anything better in my entire life. Huh. 
Man, you don't realize how important water is until you have to hike in 85 degree weather without it. Wow. Try not to peep that up now. Crazy. Oof. I hate to say it, but I think my hike is going to have to end here at Camp Batona. Gone 32 point something miles in three days. It's just too hot and it's going to start storming soon. And these feet. Oh, that other one, I can't even lift it up. They're jacked. I need to let them recover. Today was just thick and hot. And in order to get to the camp I'd have to get to, I have to go another 10 miles. And honestly, I'm happy. I just need a day to recover for work this weekend. Let me see where the next camp would be. So I'm at Camp Matona. Well, 31 miles, I guess, but I swear I saw a sign that said 32, but... Yeah, I would have to go another 8 miles to even get to the camp I have to get to, and... Nah, I'm good, I think. I came... I camped. If I didn't have a job and stuff and I could go like six miles a day and take it easy, I think it would be a different story, but this is just, I don't know. <clears throat> if I don't stop today and I hike through tomorrow, which is another 20 miles before tomorrow, <laughs> I just don't think I'll have enough time to like recover for work and I have two parties and I have to run the floor and run the show and I just checked all my messages and people are trying to book parties and shit and yeah I had a good adventure though it was nice it was a really nice break from like life and I learned a lot about myself and my bag and then I need new shoes and you wear all the DEET and permethrin in the world and it doesn't mean a fucking thing when it comes to ticks. And, um, my pack is good. My tent, I learned, once I figured out how to properly set it up and everything was good and pack it was good. I learned I need to carry more moleskin and duct tape. I need to carry more rubbing alcohol pads. I need tweezers. How the fuck I didn't have tweezers in that package? Just, I think I took them out to like pick up something on my face or something and never put them back in the pack. Because I have tick tweezers. Um, that's really it. My pack was good. I don't think I have a... I think I have a faulty Sawyer squeeze because it was leaking on both ends. And in the middle it might have cracked somewhere. I don't know. That's why I was like... Through the hikes today, there was all these puddles I could have drank from if I was confident in the Sawyer squeeze I have, but I just wasn't. But, uh, oh, that wind is so nice. But I need to get better shoes. I need to get better socks to hike in. And uh, other than that, everything else is good. My pack was great. My whole system in my pack was great. Setting up, unsetting packing well that was great 42 pounds sounds heavy that was four days of food and four liters of water that was great my sleeping bag was a little hot but it'll be great in the winter um i don't know hiking poles do make a difference first day i hiked without them the second and third day i did 
Um, that's really it. It was a great educational experience, and I need to do more overnights like this. Just to, like, practice, practice, practice. But I think three days is enough. And I need to call an Uber or something. Get back to my car to tickle my neck. can't tell. Yeah, it's just like a zit or something. But, um, yeah. It was a great time. But I think I'm gonna go home today, and I'm just gonna chill on the beach tomorrow. But, thank you for watching. I'm sorry I didn't make it the whole 50. Altogether, I probably did about 40 miles. But, yeah, it's just, I know when it's time to quit. I know myself, I don't have another 8 miles in me tomorrow, or today, and then another like 12 tomorrow, I don't, I don't have that in me, so, anyway, good adventure, thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, follow, and um, until next time. One last thing, I just don't think my body is ready yet. the AT especially I couldn't make it through a four day hike I know on the AT I'll be unemployed and I'll be able to like relax more but my body is not strong enough it's not fit enough sure I could walk day walk miles and miles and miles and miles but like I just don't think you know I drink I smoke my body just is not ready. And that's what this trip helped me realize. I have a long way to go. I need to be skinnier. I'm just too fat. I need to be able to eat too. Like since I was on a time crunch with this, I wouldn't I wasn't stopping to eat. That's bad. I could like Right now, I just, my, my muscles were all cramping and shit, and that's because I didn't eat last night, and then I hiked eight miles today without eating. I gotta be more disciplined, I guess you could say. I'm um, not disciplined enough yet. So that's something I have like 260 days to work on. I think it's like 260 days. If I'm not there in 260 days, then I'm not going to the AT. And I'm not going to do the AT until I know I'm ready. Because I'm leaving a six-figure job for the AT. Granted, I'm going to go on my own business endeavors afterwards. But Got a lot of work to do, Sam. The something memorial. I can't remember what it's called. Walk up and see. Let's see. Oh, Karate Kid. Oh, I think I got it. Karanza. Gotta love technology. I found a fucking Uber in the middle of the woods. Ain't that something? 35 bucks. I'm gonna tip her 20 bucks for my gratitude, but ain't that something? Crazy. Finally just got home, and the whole time I was on the trail, all I could think about was Francesco's sausage, pepper, and onion, extra cheese, pizza, and Budweiser. Mm -hmm. So I decided to call it a hike at 33 miles, I think. But all together I did about 43. <sighs> Found an Uber willing to pick me up in the middle of the fucking woods. A little sketchy, so if I die, you know. My feet are jacked. I need a day to recover before work. There's no way I'm hiking the last 20 miles. And then going to work on Friday, so I decided to call it. Anyway. The whole time I was on trail, I craved Budweiser or Natty Ice.
the whole time. Like from mile one on, craved Budweiser and Natty Ice. I didn't have any, any Natty Ice because this bar doesn't have it, but I had Budweiser. It fucking sucks. What was I thinking? I think I was just craving cold beer. I got Blue Moon. I was also craving sausage, pepper, and onion pizza with extra cheese, and I got that, and it was banging. But, hey, it's weird. Your brain does weird things when you're out alone in the woods. Uh, anyway. So I just went to the pharmacy. Well, went to the CVS Minute Clinic. So my doctor's out of the country, and I got a dose of doxycycline just in case to like prevent the tick bites uh, uh, whatever to prevent Lyme's disease rather so um, yeah it's weird I can't go out in the sun for 48 hours and I need to stand upright for an hour or something like that after taking it which is very strange but whatever I have to work anyway so I'll be on my feet so yep prevention Prevention is key. The last bit of my trip. Just make sure I don't get limes. One last thing about the trail that I thought was interesting. I lost 10 pounds in three days. I started at 243 and at 233. How weird. And I ate, I think, the whole time. I didn't eat any different. Um, just all that working out. Why don't my day hikes make me lose weight like that? It sucks.